In this video, I've hurried back to introduce you to a sudden influx of new Skyrim mods that have been added so extensively. I haven't had a moment's rest. Particularly in terms of the interface, there's Comey's inventory tweaks. This mod significantly enhances Sky UI and Wheeler with new sorting, icons, and frameworks. It provides detailed distinctions, especially with spell and scroll icons. Now, spells are differentiated by school, with a variety of colors for improved visibility and distinction. Additionally, food items like meat, leeks, and wine have uniquely designed icons, and I was surprised to find that these icons are compatible with mods like Wheeler. The only downside is that it adds a total of three ESPs, including the prerequisite mods. However, the icons are so beautifully and neatly organized that I feel it's worth installing this mod, and I plan to continue using it consistently. For SSE users, you'll need to install the SSE-compatible version of the Inventory Interface Information Injector. I'll include the link in the description for your reference during installation. In this segment, we're going to introduce some gameplay-related mods. Firstly, it's essential to mention the recently released BFCO, Attack Behavior Framework mod. This mod is a modern overhaul of combat animations and behaviors for Skyrim, designed to enhance the gaming experience. It introduces a variety of combat animations for both melee and ranged weapons, enabling actions such as jumping, swimming, and charging attacks. This mod includes all the features of MCO ADXP and also has built-in SCAR functionality, so there's no need for a separate SCAR patch. And the greatest advantage is that it includes additional features, such as jump attacks, swimming attacks, and charge attacks. To use this mod, one must initially convert MCO motions to BFCO, which requires the use of a BFCO converter. Although there is considerable anticipation for this mod, I would like to highlight a few concerns. First, converting existing movesets to BFCO using the converter is not guaranteed to be 100% effective, and additional annotations may be needed for the movesets. Second, while MCO motions can be converted to BFCO, there is no option to revert BFCO back to MCO. Third, the addition of underwater attack functionality requires modifications to the NPC's combat AI so that NPCs will follow the player into the water. Fourth, the mod must prove whether it can provide quality that matches or surpasses the current jumping attack and MCO combination. Fifth, when converting from MCO to BFCO, there are instances where the vanilla moveset is output intermittently instead of the perfect BFCO moveset. However, it is a fact that this mod certainly includes all the features of MCO, along with additional functionalities. Therefore, it is worth paying attention to the future developments of this mod. Next up is Khajiit Has Tents. This mod replaces the caravan tents of the Khajiit race with tents styled after those from elsewhere. The tents feature a design similar to what can be found in Elder Scrolls Online. Once installed, all Khajiit caravan locations will be updated with new designs for both large and small tents. There hasn't been a suitable mod for upgrading Khajiit camps, but this one seems to be quite excellent for me, and I hope it will be of great help to you as well. In this segment, we're excited to introduce a selection of animation-related mods. First up is the Sword Sheath on left hand, IEDOAR mod. This mod introduces new nodes and equip, unequip animations that allow for two-handed swords to be worn on the left hand. By opening the IED's gear node window, an option called two-handed sword on left hand is added. If you've always liked the idea of having your sword readily accessible, this mod is sure to capture your interest. Next up is ADXP MCO Ether Gazer Shinri Tsukuyomi. This mod, created by Sira, provides dual wield katana animations inspired by Ether Gazer. With this mod, you can use three katana swords and one great sword to attack enemies. By using different arrow keys and power attacks, you can trigger five normal attacks, 
four power attacks and four unique power moves. This move set allows you to create various attack combinations using the three katana swords and one great sword, combining different directional cues and power attack buttons to execute a wide range of powerful attacks. Upgrade your combat motion and experience the unique combat style inspired by Aether Gazer. In this segment, we'll introduce a few sound mods. First up is the Standing Soundstones. This mod adds a unique, dreamlike sound loop to each Standing Stone location. By manually placing sound markers inspired by each stone's location, the mod makes the magical Standing Stones feel truly enchanted. The sounds are ethereal. As you approach a stone, you'll hear ambient noises, and activating the stone unveils another layer of audio creating a mystical and fantastical experience that's truly remarkable. Next up is Oriad, Spriggan SFX Rework. This mod enhances the sound effects of Spriggans within the game. It adds human-like sounds for attacks, injuries, and death to Spriggans providing visual sound effects that evoke the feel of D&D Dryads. Not only does it give Spriggans more vibrant sounds, but it also replaces the existing sounds to increase the immersion of the game and overall improves the sound effects of Spriggans, enhancing the gameplay experience. This could be a great opportunity to upgrade the Spriggan sounds in your Skyrim adventure. Next up is the Volkihar Soundscape Overhaul. This mod completely enhances the soundscape of Castle Volkihar by adding a total of 45 new sounds. It features new sounds for the castle approach, courtyard, boss room, guild hall, and two dungeons. Utilizing the base object swapper and sound record distributor, it maximizes compatibility and is reported to work well with most lighting mods. Experience a more immersive Castle Volkihar with this mod. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the Shadow Knight outfit created by the creator Daymar. This outfit adds a knightly feel with a stylish blend of leather and gold trim. Each partition, including the cape, is endowed with physical effects, providing an adventurous yet glamorous look. It offers a variety of colors to choose from, and the shield and one-handed sword in particular enhance the knightly essence. With its fine design and decorations, this outfit is perfect for those who prefer a knight or spell sword. I encourage you to design your character with this outfit for a truly distinguished appearance. Thank you for joining us in today's video, showcasing the must-have new Skyrim mods for the fourth week of May 2024. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos. As we wrap up, Make sure to grab these essential mods to enhance your Skyrim experience. Stay tuned for more exciting content. And until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.